Hello there, I'm AJ Puzzle Frozen, and welcome back to X4 Foundations, where we are back in faulty logic. Now, this time, as you may have seen, I am in a peregrine vanguard, I believe, uh, which is like currently my favourite ship. It goes at 529 meters a second currently as it is modded, uh, and uh, it's fast travel equivalent. The uh, the um, travel drive gets it to 2,600 meters a second, and currently we are headed straight towards a K. Because there's a K invading my territory, and there's no way a K gets to survive. Now, I have been told by a few people that you can kill an I exactly the same way as a K, and so I tried it out. And I discovered, not very surprisingly, that these people were entirely correct, and you could kill an I very easily. Hello. I'm kind of stuck now. Good. Shoot! Shoot it! Good. You could kill a K, uh, an I, exactly the same way as you can kill a K. So, this is... It is no problem. It really isn't. And you can do it in this craft. So, I can... I can murder an I with no problem with this craft just by getting on top of its back and shooting it just exactly like this. So... Anytime we find an eye now, we'll get to it. Why is this not shooting? Shoot it! Ugh. Why is it not shooting? Sometimes it does that. It's set to shoot it. I mean, I'm pointed straight at it, and it's set to shoot it. And unless I change that, then it doesn't do it. So it's kind of like you have to have one of them to say, we should be shooting right now. And then the other ones say, oh yeah, yeah, we should be shooting right now. Why didn't I? Well, now they're shooting again, thankfully. I like being able to watch these things. Now the difference between the Peregrine and the Minotaur is that the Peregrine, um, it can... It's... There's kind of a blind spot just underneath. I don't know whether this applies though, so what we're going to do is we're going to try it out. Can it still shoot it? Yes, it can still shoot it. If it can still shoot it, then it's almost exactly the same as the Minotaur, only it can go faster. Hmm. And it's got better shields. So, that might actually mean that this ship is better than the Minotaur. The Minotaur that I thought was the best ship, pretty much. I, I do like the Nemesis. I really do like the Nemesis, but just having more turrets is just more helpful than being in something that doesn't have more turrets. Because, as I said before, the turrets just keep firing. Whereas I can't. Hmm. Where are you? Ah, here you are. It's only got a quarter of its uh, shield left. And then the uh, the life in it will drain away very fast. So I shall see you when it's dead. Its life just melts away. With all of these bolters firing at it, it doesn't it doesn't have any chance whatsoever. It is dead. And if something else attacks me, then it's history too. Now let's change these back to defend, because. I've still got HOP around here, and it's really dangerous to uh, to just have them shooting at anything that they see. Right. Ooh. Don't want to forget my drop. All of that? I'm not going to forget my drop. No way. I want stuff. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Container. Where are you, container? Oh, you're way over there. Oh, that's why you weren't coming over here. Eep. Yeah. Great stuff. Okay. Now. What else has been going on in Faulty Logic? Well, they have been attacking a lot over here, but as you can see, this is now a defense station because I built a, um, a command module, is it something like that, uh, on the thing afterwards, and so it turned into a defense station, and this one, and this one, 
And over here, I did it with this one and this one. So now we have five defense stations in this area, whereas the HOP have two. Two defense stations. So if I'm quick enough in destroying these things, then I will be able to take this sector and they won't have anything to say about it. But at the same time, they'll have several defense stations in the sector so that, uh, well, you know, if they're set on attack, then I can lead them to the Paranid defense stations and the Paranid defense stations can deal with it. Especially if it's an eye. Despite the fact I can actually now deal with eye, I, I would rather the uh, Paranid did. Now today, my plan is to go into the next faulty logic and see what we can do about the mines. Because the mines in faulty logic um. 7, I think, uh, they make it somewhat difficult or almost impossible to actually take the sector because obviously so many mines, so much death. Hi, Xenon. Yeah. It'll be fine. There was a ship over there. What's that? Hang on. Wait a minute. Have I got a free ship? No, that's not a free ship. Rats! It was only a Gorgon anyway. I don't know whether the Gorgon's just as good um, as the uh, as the ship that I'm in. Because it's got four turrets as well, but the, the, you'd have to sort of aim your four turrets with the, uh, with the Gorgon, whereas uh, this, pretty much everywhere, it, uh, it shoots. So, I don't know. I think that it's not bad, but it's uh, it could be better. So, I think this is the better version. But I would have to uh, really, I'd have to really look into that. I don't know if there's mods that I haven't got. If, I mean, when you do the research, you get a certain number of mods that you can use for your ships. Now, I don't know if there are extra mods that you can get only by other means. If there are, Super please high tell high me. Because I th I'm missing mods, I think. Unless I'm not, but I, I feel like I'm missing mods, and if I am, then I kind of want to have those mods. I don't know if they... if They might be attached to Ventures, and I haven't touched Ventures at all. I'd, I mean, I'd, I haven't signed up or added to the beta or anything like that, so I'm, I'm not in Ventures. I'm just in the, the, the normal game as it would be if you just bought it on a store and did nothing else. Right. Into Faulty Logic 7 we go. The other thing to do is to go straight past Faulty Logic 7 into the next one. For that, I don't think that has the mines. And if that doesn't have the mines, then I might be able to make a safe haven just past Faulty Logic 7. Anyway. We'll soon see. I'm pretty sure that Faulty Logic 7 is totally full of mines. Mines Entering everywhere! Logic oh, there's a defense station seven. right in front of it. Now, is this a gap at the mines? This is a gap in the mines. Stop there. Good. <laughs> now then. The plan went a little something like this. If I stick... I mean, I have watched this happen. If you stick a, def a, a station somewhere, then uh, mines and such like have a tendency to move out of the way of it. So, if I make a station... Why is it only giving me two in the plot size there? Oh, I wonder if ten is the maximum. That might be the case. I've never made a, a plot size this big. I'm trying to make a plot size that would push out the mines all around it in a way that uh, in a way that would mean that you could actually traverse the sector without worrying about mines so let's see what happens if we put that there it doesn't have to have anything in it it just has to be there so uh, confirm module changes there's nothing there Yes, and I haven't paid for the sector. But if this works, then it should just slightly push the uh, push the thing out of the way. So, let's see what it does. 
Are we going to find that this is free of mines, or is it not free of mines? I guess the best way of finding out is to uh, scan it, isn't it? Because then I don't have to go in it, into it to scan it. Scan. Interesting. I can't see. I don't know if it has got any mines in it now. It almost looks as if that has worked. What's this? What is this? Asteroid. No! Why? Why is it doing that? This isn't the first time I've seen an asteroid that's pinged like that. Gold ping, as if it's really important. I mean, you couldn't get more important than a gold ping. And what? What? What, what is it? Why is it important? It doesn't have any uh, crystals on it. It's just a weird asteroid. Why? What's special about it? <laughs> I mean, I'm sure I've shot one of these and it's exploded. I have no idea why that's like that. Anyway, let's head in and see if we can find any... See if this, this mine situation has been cleared. Hmm. You know, I think it has. I'm sure there was loads of mines here. Yes, yes, yes. No, no, no. I see mines. What are you? Where are you? Tracker mine. Tracker mine. Okay. You are a Xenon tracker mine. But are you... Oh, yeah, you're still here. Ah! I don't know. Maybe that couldn't get close enough. Let's see where we are on the map. Okay, so the track of mine's here. How's our station? It's still within the... It's kind of, it kind of does look like it's cleared it out of those areas. Hmm. Maybe it has. Maybe we should put another plot over here. Just, just here. Put it here. And then we stretch it outwards. Let's see what happens. Will it get rid of these mines? This is the important thing. If it does, then we can clear a path. And that would be amazing. Give me a clear path, come on. I don't know where they're going to go. <laughs> Do it! Yes! Now then, let's unpause the game and see if that moves. It's not moving. It's not moving at all. No, it's just sitting there. Hmm. Let's try again. Uh, scan. Ooh, there's a lot of mines. Wow. Okay. It looks like it doesn't work. It looks like you can stick as many stations in as you like and it's still not going to stop them from being mined to heck. In which case, I've got to find a safe place to dump stations instead. I think that as once you put the, put the station in the place, then it's kind of alright. But you've got to find a, a neat place that you can put the station. Let's search for spaces where I can actually plant things. And then I'll move those stations, well, those bits of stuff, over to a place where I can plant a station and then we shall be safe. And we can send somebody else's workships into here to actually do something about it. There seems to be plenty of room over here that's not got mines in it. Keep scanning. Definitely keep scanning. This sector is so horrendous. I do wonder if you um, if you take the sector, if you can then clear the mines. I was told that uh, if the mines, um, they respawn if you save and come back in again. So, we need ways to clear the mines, and the only thing I can think of is that if you take the sector, maybe you can get rid of the mines. 
Well, this this space look seems fine. Let's be here and see what we can do. Where are we? We are over here. So, let's move you. Get into this view. Move you over here. Good. You don't really need to be that size, but you know. And then let's make that into a defense station. Is this a good idea? I don't know. <laughs> It could be an awful idea. For it could just mean that I lead craft after craft after craft into this area all to die horribly. But you never know if you don't try things. So there we go. Let's build our typical defense station. Uh, so I'm going to need some of this to get those. I, I am literally building the same defense station absolutely everywhere I build a defense station. I, I, hmm, I don't know whether I should use the Paranid ones or these ones. I can kind of use these ones because the Paranid one, it's got things that stop you from... It's got things that stop it from shooting things, I think. Whereas this is the clearest... Uh, one of the clearest things that enables it to just shoot anything that comes near. And I've seen this thing in action. Uh, when a uh, when a K went close to my defense stations in the uh, in the other sector, there was a absolute hail of plasma fired in its direction, and there's no way that a K or an I would be able to stand such a horrendous onslaught of plasma because it just it just it was amazing. It was like it was like it was snowing. It was brilliant. <laughs> Directed snow. It was so amazing. I liked it. Right. So we need to copy this over there. Copy this over there. Copy this over here. And again. This is so much easier than the old way I used to do it. I used to. Uh, I used to make them, and then put the guns on every single one separately. Which took me forever and a day. I guess I could put it there. Just make it a, a diamond defense station. That's it. Ah. Now, what we need is storage. I put way too much storage on these. I know I do. I put, I put two of those on. Because I like symmetry. And so, therefore, my symmetry costs me. And one of those domes. I think... Every time I put one of those domes in, that's got me, like, ten people working at the station. So, does a medium paranid dome result in just ten people? Because if it does, I seriously need to get some more paranid domes everywhere. And, uh, uh, yeah, an upgrade upgrade to a, perhaps a large dome as well. Because th that, that just, just that amount is nothing. It really is. Right, so, now we've put this here, the important thing is, uh, once we've got it started and we get people coming over here, the important thing will be to get the heck out of this sector as fast as possible, because that way the, uh, the, the ships are less likely to collide with mines, I think. <laughs> because collision detection is gone then, isn't it? So if collision detection's gone, maybe the mine, the, maybe the ships won't go into the mines, which means this is all done, and I should set off to the next sector, which is over here. I'm also very curious to see how the um, crystal mining is in this these sectors. I can't remember which sector I was in when I found the epically weird crystal things and uh, and such. That made that made one of the Xenon sectors super interesting, but uh, so we'll we'll head over here and see what's going on. I'll see you somewhere past a lot of mines. You really can't you really can't go slow around here. I mean, this ship thankfully is nice and fast, but uh, slower ships, I really don't know. Ooh, look, there's there's. Jump gate. Atya's misfortune. Xenon everywhere. Hello. <laughs> Atya's misfortune. Hmm. That's where we're going. 
see you there. I don't think these mines are as powerful as I thought. The friend-foe mines, they're like 10,000, I think, for, for damage. Whereas I just had one of these explode on the side of the ship because I ran straight into it. Uh, and it barely touched the shielding. Which is very interesting. I might have to look into the encyclopedia and see how strong these mines are. I wish I could remember which of my ships was the um, the Odysseus that we found in the uh, in the faulty logic sector, because if I could remember which one was that, then it would be incredibly ironic to take the faulty logic sector with the Odysseus that we got for free. Ooh, there's a lot of mines. I wonder if there's a lot of mines in the next sector. I don't think so. I hope not. Here we are! The Our next sector. It seems to me that all of these Xenon sectors, they've made, they've made the planets horrendous. I wonder if that's just a Xenon thing. Alright, let's skip to uh, scan mode. And scan everywhere. I don't see anything interesting. <laughs> Alright, let's have a look at these um, stations. There are two. There is a solar power plant. Okay. And a Xenon defense station. I think that they are just normal stations, I do. I don't think that they're anything fancy. We've got the wharf over there in the next sector I'll definitely take on those now I was told that the uh, the xenon sectors were better for the mining of crystals but I think that faults I don't know whether it was the fault logic the original the one that I was in first or whether it's the the second one or the or this one I don't know which one's best I am not seeing any twinkles of crystals anywhere Nope, not a single twinkle of a rock, not one. Hmm, okay, let's bung a defence station in here. It doesn't matter really where it goes, because uh, we can have anywhere we want. I'll change it to four, ah heck, which is actually eight, isn't it? Not to, Not four. It just it just says four over here, but uh, it's actually eight. So we'll do that. Good. Get ourselves a plot. Stick it here. Bung defense station stuff in it, just like the last one. And then this one will be ready for when we want to take this sector as well. Because all of these Xenon sectors shall be mine. And there we go. Exactly the same defense station in another sector but I'm not done here I want to go to the next sector and I'm running out of money so I can't really spend it all in there let's go over here and see about that Xenon Wharf if we can set a place thank you great stuff let's go I might scan the sector a bit as I go so that might take a little while Oh, look at that. Little bit of space dust. Nah. That planet's not covered in fire like the last one. That's unusual. Super highway. Super highway. One. It's not labelled as red either. That's strange. Oh, look. Unknown object. Unknown object. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, forget that. Let's go over here and see what we can find on these. If we can find anything, I don't know. Unknown object. Does that... Or is it going to be a massive car section? It might be. Why is this important? Hmm. Scan it. Maybe. Still a little far away. Let's get closer. Asteroid. It's just showing us a weird asteroid. I knew it was a weird asteroid already. Hmm. <laughs> okay. I wonder if you can. I wonder if there's any crystals on these, or if, or if you just destroy them and then they turn into crystals, or what? 
What's important about these things? Other than they look cool, what's important about them? Some of them got this red Asteroid. stuff all over them. Is that red stuff good? They look like crystals. They do look like crystals. Let's get closer and see what we can do with them. Can I target those? Let us see. Three. That does not look like a view of that thing. There we go. Interesting. Can I target those? I don't appear to be able to target them separately. Which kind of gives me the impression that I can't just, like, nab those things. Why, though? I mean, it looks like something that I could actually mine. It really does. Look at how much that looks like something I could mine. Mm. I want to mine it! <laughs> That's got to be worth something. You would have thought that would have been worth lots. I know that the Xenon mine them. I know they do because I've seen the little things on them. Maybe it explains all of the Xenon, uh, the redness in, in the Xenon ships. I do not know. But I do know one thing. I'm going to try. Let's get closer. I sure hope this isn't important to the story later on. Die. Asteroid. Face the wrath of my guns. This is not breaking anything off. Nope! It appears to me that these crystals do absolutely nothing. That's a bit of a disappointment. I so wish you could mine these things. If you know anything important about these crystals that I don't know, then do tell me because yeah. they look cool. They look very cool. And these Xenons seem, seem e. like they don't want me around them as well. <laughs> So I don't know. Hmm. Anyway, we were going to the next sector. So I shall see you over there. That's oh, only a K, good. <laughs> Nothing too dangerous. Just slightly dangerous and epically dangerous if, it's, it, dangerous if it's surrounded by others. Now, where would be a good place to stick a defense station in here? <laughs> I want these sectors, all of them. Then I'll have loads of sectors. I mean, I've already got uh, five, maybe five, possibly. And there's another one of Silent Witness that I want to take. Because I've got one of Silent Witness, but the other one is still free for the taking. Hmm. Let's do some scanning. There's a lot of asteroids in most of these sectors, so it would make really good for uh, for mining. If I could get rid of the mass of mines! I mean, these sectors, look at all of the asteroids. They are absolutely everywhere. But those mines... I can't... I can't be dealing with those mines. If there was a, a another way to get around these sectors that didn't involve the mines... Or if I could clear the mines, then that would be brilliant. But at the moment, it doesn't look like it. Hmm. Well, I shall have to consider the mines and see what I can do with these sectors in another episode. In the meanwhile, I'm all out of time. Thanks for watching. Feel free to watch other things on my channel. Feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. Catch you next time. Bye for now.